Hey guys, Sean Malone here. Uh, I don't know, it's five o'clock in the evening over on Pine Island. We just finished up lunch service, did nearly 500 just for lunch alone. People are coming in. I mean, just the relationships that are being built here in this community. People come back for daily prayer and just hugs and people debriefing their trauma and, you know, uh, people having nightmares and, you know, just all sorts of opportunities to just love on people, help them walk through this. But uh, just a few moments ago, I just wanted to step aside and, you know, we got Mobile Hope trailer over here and sometimes we got live worship and sometimes we just have canned music and doing the best we can with that. And I walked over and just was overcome with God's goodness in terms of all of what he's doing here, all the lives that are being touched and, you know, just the miracle with Kate's recovery. And I'm sitting there just feeling God's presence is touching me and just overwhelmed with his goodness just because there's just, it's like the spirit of adoption just here, the Father's love just touching hearts and touching lives, flowing through us, people being reignited and encouraged in their giftings and callings and it's been incredible and I'm sitting up here on the Mobile Hope stage and um, Kate calls me and she lets me know that she just got out of the hospital, they released her to home care and uh, it was just the timing of that. Just I haven't been up on the trailer or anything and uh, I'm just so excited and so overwhelmed with God's goodness, with all of your guys' prayers, the way that you guys have prayed through this situation, covered us, covered the team. All of you guys who have supported the efforts, everybody who's come out to help. And um, guys, God's doing something really special here on Pine Island. This deployment was really different. I'm not saying it was easy, but it was very different in terms of um, the impact that's happening and uh, God's grace on it all. And uh, just overwhelmed with his goodness. And it's, uh, it's an incredible thing to... Uh, it's incredible privilege to stand with people who have been through so much loss, grief. People have lost loved ones, lost their homes, their lives disrupted. And um, to be here with such amazing volunteers like the people behind me that have been out here serving meals since 11 o'clock this morning. The crew in the kitchen have been cooking since 9, 9.30 this morning. And uh, just do it with so much joy. Uh, what an honor and what a privilege. And um, anyway, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to, uh, you know, the partner organization, Somebody Cares America, and um, Holy Smokes, Ally Force, all of you guys who are helping out with the proteins and keeping us fueled over here. Uh, to everybody who's donated to make this happen, I just want to let you know we're making a real impact. And uh, But more than serving meals, um, we're serving up hope and uh, we're serving up the gospel and people are getting ministered to and they're encountering Jesus for real. And it's just really beautiful. I'm just honored. I'm like, I feel like a spectator here just seeing what God's doing. And uh, I'm just uh, just really blown away. So anyway, that's my, uh, I don't even know what day it is, Tuesday uh, report here from the field. Grateful to be a part. If you have the opportunity, come out. I don't know how long we're gonna have to do, uh, how long we, uh, we get to do this, but I know that um, we're going to have to leave this building uh, the 26th because she's going to open up again. Uh, it's a nursery school that we're staying in. We're staying in like a little nursery school. So um, anyway, if you have the opportunity, come on out. We'd love to get some teams out to do some muck outs, but you got to hurry up. Uh, we're going to shift. The deployment will shift probably uh, the 26th. We'll see what God will do. Anyway, God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Good night.